All right, welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog, and we are doing an episode. I have no idea what episode we're on leveling. I guess I can look that up in a minute. Uh, shouldn't be hard to figure out. But um, so, Christmas, New Year's fair is in full swing now. And if you are a low to mid level player, uh, what you should also know since this <coughs> is Christmas Day, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope everyone is having a very happy Christmas. Uh, the New Year's gifts are now available. So they're called New Year's gifts because I think this event goes to January 11th, something like that. In that time, you have a chance to catch these bags. Now, a couple of things that's important to notice is that um, the first three have multiple multiples you can catch so you'll five, catch five of these three of these two of these everything else is just one so when you get into the striped bags it's just one uh, these are just one and then the really interesting bags i mean if you're a low level player everything you can get out of here to some degree or another is worthwhile you know um so i mean i guess the maybe the way to look at this if you if you want to level up your float fishing anyway this event is helpful for that if you want to get a few extra things through these gifts, this thing is this event is helpful. Um, and then if you are premium, you get these two bags. Now, there is a very small chance uh, that you could pull something very valuable out of these two premium bags. Um, last year, and again this year, if 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 the internet is to be believed, I, I know last year. I confirmed it last year in the sense that I was able to go to someone else's house and see the reel that they caught because they had it on display in their house so that people could confirm that it was a real deal. So few of them were caught that there was this tendency to not believe it was actually a real thing. But it is a real thing, I do believe. Uh, what I'm referring to is the very expensive... The best spinning reel in the game, the reel that people use to go after the biggest fish in the game currently, uh, at least from bottom feeding perspective. So like big sturgeon and stuff. Um, it's probably out of stock here, so I'll just go down to the bottom. So it's not out of stock here. Uh, oh yeah, it is. So the Venga uh, 10,000, you can catch a special New Year's edition, one of these, and it's blue. It's the only way to get it in the game is by catching it off the premium bags. Now, there's other reels as well. Um, I don't know this year if, like, they've mixed it up. If there's, I, I've, I've seen at least one other one. I think it was an Imperial bait casting, maybe. Uh, let's see, what was it? Well, now I'm not so sure. I'll I'll scroll through and find it once we're um, once we're fishing. I'll I'll find it and say. So there's a very small chance, but again, like I think all of last year there were maybe a total of around 30 of all the thousands of players that did the event. Right, there was around 30 caught. So so no, it's very small chance. However, if you hit it, I mean that is so much silver. Uh, it's worth so much silver that you won't have to save when you get high enough level to use that you know, any of the nicer reels, whatever is available in those gifts. So it may be worth grabbing premium so you have access to that premium bag if you want to kind of roll the dice in that way. So to catch these gifts, uh, and, and we're just going to do a leveling episode here, just kind of focused on this spot, right? To, to catch these gifts, you need to use telescopic rods. Um, I believe all of these, oh no, yes, they're all load capacity of four kilo, right? So we already have this one. I'll just get a shorter one. I actually kind of like the short. The only thing that's nice about this one maybe is that, that you can cast a little further. Okay, we'll get a second one like this. So we're going to set up two. So we spent 25 silver. Remember, we had enough to, um, to get uh, our next feeder rod set, or our, our starter set, which we still probably will have enough this episode. But I want to make sure we can set this up the way we want to. Um, so it's, it's got a load capacity of four. So I'm going to get two of these 3.9. They cost four silver each. And then I think to be as efficient as possible, like you want to have a really good bite rate, correct? So I'm going to go fairly cheap hook, but I'm going to go like a size. I believe on my main account last year, I ended up using like 12s a lot. 
You could go down to like 20 or something if you felt like, but I think 12 is probably reasonable. Um, and we should have another hook that's about that size. So what we want to do now is we want to get both of those set up. And then you definitely could use three telescopic rods and try to catch them as fast as possible. Since this is our leveling account, I'm going to set up a feeder rod in the third. It, it's it's going to be maddening enough, especially because I'm going to be grinding this out on my main account as well. So it's going to be maddening enough doing this with, um, with just two, I think. So, so let's think about what we want to fish for. We'll start, let's start off on just worm with um, just kind of generic ground bait, 5.4, that. Let's just put worm on there. Let's just see what we catch here in this spot on feeder. And then maybe we'll adjust feeder as we go. Do we want to clip it? Let's clip it at about 12 meters. We're going to just go kind of straight out. And then just put this out of the way. Now, if you notice happy hour just activated, that is because for right now, everyone gets happy hour, even if you're not premium. This won't last. I can't remember how long it is. It's not long. But that doesn't mean you're premium for the gift bags. It just means you have happy hour. I believe that's true. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. If everybody has free premium right now, then everybody has access to the bags. I don't know that that's the case, though. I guess if we pull up one of the premium bags, we'll we'll know that that's, that that's the, the situation. All right, so we do need floats that look different from each other. And here's our new size 12 hook. We're gonna start with bread. Um, let's go to about 80 depth and just see if we're getting a decent bite rate. And maybe, maybe we'll adjust if we need to. Um, so we're gonna put these like right out here. And then this one, let's make sure we have the right line. The reason why I'm going to 3.9 line, I guess I should go ahead and mention this, is because you can, do we do worm on this one? Let's just do worm and see kind of how things go. We need to find a bait that's going to have a really good bite rate. Actually, maybe we should do pearl barley instead. Let's start off with pearl barley and bread. So we've got them both at 80 centimeters, just kind of casting straight out here. Um, so at least last year, you were able to catch dumbbells. They're very heavy. That's why I got the, the strongest line I could with these very weak telescopic rods. I don't know if it will be possible to pull in the dumbbell if we hit one on this size, but hopefully it'll give us our best chance. Um, I think I was using stronger line last year on my main account to do it and you could get them in, but they're heavy. They're just really heavy. So we'll see how it goes here. Um, now it can take a long time to catch these. So it like, you know, we may not see any during this video or we may just see one or maybe we get on a lucky run and catch several. But especially as you start crossing them off the list, I mean, I remember for me, that last present took many hours last year to finally hit. So it kind of seemed like, you know, the more you caught as you started bouncing them off your list, the, uh, the longer and longer you had to wait. Kind of watching that pearl barley. If that's going to be too long of a bite rate, we'll switch it to bread or worm, something. All right, so what are we catching here? Common roach on bread. Take that. You know, and we hope we're still going to be making a little bit of silver. Um, but this isn't the most efficient way to make silver, obviously. It's a good way to, you know, slowly level up your float fishing. We're getting a bite on the, on the pearl barley. I think it's under, isn't it? Um, but you know, level up float fishing and then just, it's just fun to catch the presents. I, I don't see any reason not to, uh, just to kind of mix it up. If you get really tired of this, obviously switch off, do something else. Um, but if you want to try to catch all the presents you can between now and January 11th, you do got to put some time in. So one sort of side benefit of this is that you do, 
you know, level your float fishing maybe a little faster than you would have without this event. I think I might try a little bit um, yeah it still says premium not active I'm pretty sure it's not going to give us you know any kind of it's not going to give us premium bags unless you actually have premium I think I'm going to try a smaller hook for the pearl barley Try keep the pearl barley on but try a smaller hook see if that helps with the bite rate I mean bread is doing pretty good right this could be a present nope it was just a see how that roach was swimming straight down once you um you'll get the feel for what a present feels like yeah this is too slow so we'll go smaller hook if this doesn't help um then we'll switch baits maybe we try maggots worm Maybe we put bread on both. I don't know. We'll see. So right now we're on the roach. We should go see if there's a um, inexpensive or a, a very easy roach cafe order to keep an eye on. There is not. So if we start catching other stuff, we could pay attention to that. See how it just keeps coming straight and up? That's how you know it's a present. It's very slowly coming to the surface. And then now you can see it's a bag. And that's one of the green ones. You just want to slowly back up with it. And then go back to it and hit the space bar. And it should catch it for you. So we'll go ahead and put that in our backpack. Had a nibble on this, but we might have missed it. What are we using? Are we using worms? Yeah. Oh, we want a smaller hook. There's no reason to have an eight hook. We want bite rate, not size. Um, I mean, I mean, eight is just too big for. We're not going to catch a present on this, but we do want to catch some, hopefully catch a few fish here and there to help make a little bit of silver. So now we can open that present anytime we want to. But just to go back to the list, we caught the green one. So there's two more of these. It's showing we've caught one of three. And you can save all the presents, open them at one time. Or you can do what we're going to do, which is kind of open them as you go. Oh, and that is a good point. I think you have a pretty good chance of catching, a, of, of opening a present and getting premium, getting a free premium token might be like a one day or a three day or a five day. I can't remember what the options are. But if you catch that and then activate your premium and then you hit it really hard for however long you have premium open, you might be able to, you know, then use that time to catch your premium bags. So that's kind of a cool way that they let you do it. All right, so let's go ahead and unpack this one. So we got some monkey cola, six portion. So, you know, that's six drinks there. Um, I mean, it's not a game changer, obviously, but it's a fun little extra bonus. Help us dig a little more with some energy. Also, obviously, a really good opportunity to level up your... Ooh, a 
white bream to level up your um, bait harvesting while you're just kind of standing here waiting, you know, be drinking stuff. Oh, that, and that is kind of cool. Like you actually have to unopen this if you want to get the colas out. This one's just too slow. All right, so let's switch baits. We'll keep it small for now. We'll see how maggots do. And that may change during the different times of day, but really what you're wanting to do is just get on something that's gonna give you as good a bite rate as possible. We can't use a leader till we get 40%. I mean, having fluorocarbon on there might help a little bit with bite rate. But with the type of fish we're catching, it's probably not a big deal. I love how those roach kind of trick you because they swim straight down. It kind of feels like it might be a present. But when we caught the present, it was like there was no doubt that's what it was. I want to say that folks also were able to catch presents over from the from this dock if you kind of cast over here. I never did that, so I can't confirm it, but I think that's what people told me at least. I always just came right here and cast anywhere right in front here. That's where I caught them last year at least. But at least we've had one. I, I was... <laughs> Based on how, how long it would take sometimes last year, I was a little nervous that uh, we could go through a whole session of fishing and not see one present. Fish. Sleeper. Smaller hook. Caught a sleeper. Let's see if I can figure out. Somebody on VK posted that they caught. Oh, shoot. That they caught a. Beluga Imperial bait casting reel, 16.5 max drag. So again, a really nice special version of that reel. Any equipment you get, if you get if you get equipment out of your premium bag, you are very fortunate. The chances are not high. 
and then you have something that very few players in the game because they're you know special versions of, of whatever it is all right so far it seems like maggots with a small hook is doing much better than um than the pearl barley or the pearl barley did bread still doing okay We are occasionally catching fish on our on our feeder. The float fishing, I, I mean we'll probably stop the video before nighttime, but it's gonna be really slow at night. Might even be worth putting two feeders out at night and trying to catch some rough or something. Just focusing on one. Definitely use a small hook at night. You might be able to catch rough or white bream on the float as well. It's a fish. We're on the roach though. We're also doing pretty good with float fishing. This is the uh, Christmas New Year's presents event. Good time to have something else on while you're doing it because it definitely gets old very quickly. I remember when this event first started last year, it was such a slow grind. And thankfully, they patched it and increased the rate of the presence, and that helped tremendously. It still was a grind, but it wasn't like it was initially. And again, you know, with this kind of, with this bite rate, it's probably worth having three of these out and doing float fishing on all three. I just couldn't remember what the bite rate was going to feel like, but on a low level account, we're not using fluorocarbon leaders or line. Haven't quite gotten zeroed in maybe on the best hook size and bait to use to get the best bite rate. So, you know, I think we, yeah, you're going to occasionally miss a bite like this situation here. They could both they could both go on at the exact same time, but you spend a lot less time not catching fish on float if you have all three in. It kind of seems like what happens is that a fish spawns in takes your bait and then there's a small chance that the fish then converts to a present. Kind of seems like that's what happens. Of course I'm not sure about that but
Some of these we've got enough time we might actually get there, but it just depends. We need a bunch of like small roach cafe orders to pop up. Curious if the kettle balls are going to be in it again this year. And it's weird because, I mean, you'll sit here. For however long and kind of seems like man am i ever going to catch a present and then all of a sudden you'll get multiple in a short amount of time so you know especially in the beginning like this you just never know once you get down to your last one or two or whatever it can really start to feel like it takes a while it's a fun little event though and some of the prizes you know are worthwhile and then obviously the big thing is you're just taking that chance like will you get the really big one I don't know if there's anything other than roach that it would be worth targeting. It looks like it looks like the majority of the fish we're catching in the spot right now are the roach. Which means casters, maggots, bread. Pearl barley should work pretty good. Get a few more maggots in case we stay on maggots. And what I actually did on my main account last year, I think, was mostly I used those, I had pretty, you know, reasonably light setups and was using those um, floats that you can buy in the Christmas fair. They're like upgraded version of the feather floats. They're like actually pretty decent feather floats. How long this has been nibbling makes me think it might be a crucian or a gibble. You also could throw ground bait into the water try to attract a little higher bite rate obviously it looks like we're doing roach so you could just make some common roach ground bait and do that might help a little bit you just want as high a bite rate as possible it seems like as far as i know going for larger fish or certain species of fish doesn't help you catch them any quicker if that is the case then I'm, I'm just mistaken and didn't pick up on that from last year at least that's a nice white bream for mosquito lake 
kind of cool that we're catching white bream in this spot. Slow, but we're catching them. We've had three now. The other thing we could do is lower the depth to one meter. See if going a little deeper in the water helps at all in terms of bite rate. As it gets later and into the evening, that's probably a good thing to do. That was swimming around too much to be a present. Let's see if we've made, I don't know, 40 silver yet? 11 silver. Wow. This is not the way to make silver. But again, it's not really what we're, it's not what we're focused on right now. 26 fish, 11 silver, that's brutal. But so many of them are small. We're not catching very, very big fish. A lot of them aren't markers, but even the ones that are markers are like on the small side, like this one. But we're at 23.4 on float. Let's make sure they're hitting something small, just sitting on that. Nope. Obviously you want to use two different colored floats just to help it kind of keep you straight in your mind or three different if you're f fishing with three. Especially with three, it can get a little more chaotic and so you might not always cast it in the order that they're sitting. So if you kind of end up memorizing like, okay, the red and white and black one is on my second rod. That'll sort of help. Uh, this might be a second present. Is that our second green one? That's pretty cool. So I think that's our second green one, if I'm remembering right. All right, I'll be right back and we'll, we'll unbox our second present All right, looks like we got a nibble on the first one. I think it's because we're using decent hooks. We have a few percentage points in float fishing now. We're just, we're not missing a ton of bites. I mean, this can be really infuriating if you get on a streak of like missing tons of bites, but it hasn't been too bad. All right, so green present number two, right? A cheese box. We got 20 portions of cheese. Oh, and it's the melted cheese.
ridiculous. So it should show us as having caught two of three of the green gift bags. Only one more green gift bag to go. And we're done with those. I think the ones that you can catch multiples of probably have on average like the worst stuff in it. All right, there's a roach order. That helps. That just popped up. Again, we're getting there on the white bream order. If we could somehow finish that, that would be something. I mean, that's 27 silver. We could actually make some silver while doing this. Petro Markowski, grats on level three. I wonder if that's an alt or someone who has just joined our chat channel. All right, let's go with a size 22 hook and worm. Let's see if we could put it at 1.2 meters, if that's actually sitting on the bottom. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? It might even be deeper than that. It might be 2.5 meters here, but I guess we could try putting it at two meters. Next time we catch something, I'll put it at two meters. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this, I wanna see what the bite rate's like with worms on float down towards the bottom with small hooks, just to see if we can't get lucky on that white bream order. I don't want to kill the bite rate though. It's not worth targeting something if it kills your bite rate. But if you can still maintain a good bite rate, you know, catching whatever, then, oh yeah, good bite rate. Let's see. Let's see what this is. The bread bite rate has just been, you know, very steady which has been nice. All right, let's see what we call it here. Crucian, I'm okay with that. All right, so let's go down to 1.5 meters and see if it's still, still sitting there. Nope, that's a little much. Uh, I think that's, I think there's a fish on. Not anymore. All right, so how about 1.3? Let me try 1.3 and cast it slightly farther. Yep. 1.3 and don't shallow cast and we're about perfect. Dang it. What is this? Did we run into a little tinch or something? Oh shoot, I'm trying to do the wrong thing here. Funny if we pulled in a present. Has to be on float though. Has to be on telescopic rods. Man, a little eyed.
I think I just want to use worm right now. We're going worm on everything. And just see what it feels like bite rate. And we're putting it at the bottom. Or close to the bottom. Might be a little deeper that far out. A little sleeper. That's nice. I think there was a sleeper order, wasn't there? Actually not in our chat every time that resets you get kicked out of the chat you're in so that's why I was seeing all these players I didn't recognize let's get that one a little closer I think the bites are a little harder to see for me when it's um, it's too close, isn't it? When there's that much slack in the lot, not slack, but when it's like that deep. And so it's, I'm just not used to seeing the bites on that much depth. So the floats that I used on my main account last year were just these, these uh, upgraded feather floats. They're not very expensive. I just really liked them. They show the bites really well, but on this account, I'm not going to waste the silver. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get our uh, upgraded feeder. So, this is what I recommend. If you like bottom fishing, this is what I recommend you save for just as soon as you can. 149 silver. Get two or three of these according to if you've got the spinner starter like we did on this account. We won't need a third one because we'll just make do with the... Uh, Lacerti on the starter feeder rod, but these are just terrific. These will get you going. These you can at least start fishing for bream at Old Berg. They're just really good. Yeah, so we're I'm missing more fish on this at this depth, but we'll try it a little bit longer, and I'll try to be a little more patient. Maybe we should also have maggots on one. I just don't know that white bream like maggots. We could also put bread. Let's see what the records on um, mosquito white bream are. Garlic dough. There is one on bread though, so we could probably still try bread. Even at this depth. And we may occasionally hit a white bream. I don't know. So many people are using bread at Mosquito that that kind of skews the numbers. Purchase something we'll see on Worm. We can do wheat grain and sweet dough now. Man, we leveled that up 25%. Do I still have ingredients for pearl barley? No, I don't. But I think I was going to make a little bit more pearl barley. We do have the... We can make a couple of oatmeal. I think we've just got enough to make two. So we don't really necessarily need to use a ton of oatmeal. But it's fun to test it occasionally. And so that now means... Like, wheat dough might be worth trying here, actually. Let's go make a, th a pack of wheat dough and try that on one of them. What do we need for wheat dough? Oh, it's not, is it wheat dough? Sweet dough, sorry, what am I saying? Wheat, milk, and sugar. Wheat, milk, and sugar. Even if we just make one or something. 
All right, wheat. I think the cheap milk still works. And then sugar is... Must have passed it here. Kind of pricey. This is where it starts getting a little more expensive to level some of this stuff up. We're one sleeper away. Two white bream away. Now, sweet dough might kill the bite. I have no idea. But I want to try it. an aggressive bite perch we can use luminous float just in time for nighttime just kidding we don't need all that was there a perch order oh it's big perch we're in no danger of doing that. I was trying to wait till we catch one more fish on this right right one, and then I was gonna just throw sweet dough on for a minute. Sometimes sweet dough does really good, but I'm I think it probably does better on Crucian Gibbles at time. Crucians and Gibbles, not not like I don't think it's gonna hit a white bream. I don't think it's gonna hit the other stuff we'd love to catch at night here. Oh, fish isn't on. Which makes me want to go ahead and do this. So we're going to unpack this fishing feeder start. And then we're going to put that as the one we're using. We want to take one of these Sorrentos apart that has the sparks and go ahead and put that cage on there 4.8 line a little stronger line uh, we've been using this rough mix we do want the leader on there at night we're probably gonna want a small hook with worms right Let's just see what we can do we've been at 12 we'll just keep it there So we've got our first upgraded. It's a very nice looking set. I like the Lacerdi reel on there and I like the comfort, the way the Kama Comfort rod looks. It also gives us quiver tip options. So we'll want to put this down on 14 grams so we can see the more sensitive bites from the small fish we could catch here. And our bite right here on the floats is probably going to go down to a crawl so we'll see if we can get another fish or two maybe and then we'll wrap this episode up That's the wind blowing the floats, not a, uh, not a fish. All right, so this is probably like a rough or a white bream is what I would guess. So there's a rough. Oh wait, let's um, let's actually do this. Put it on 14 gram. Maybe we'll see that bite a little more clearly. It's a gibble. So that's the first thing we called on. Um, oh, wait. This is still bread, isn't it? Yeah, let's switch this. We want to at least see if sweet dough will do anything. It's 
a lot of fish, but not worth much silver. It looks to me like this one's getting some kind of nibble. How big is this? It's a four gram float. It probably would benefit us to put a lighter float on there. I hate to spend the silver, but can't you get this in, yeah, 1.3 gram, 1.8 gram? I mean, these are lightweight floats. We get a 1.8 and still be better off than what we are right now in terms of seeing the bite a little more distinctly. Ah, too soon. Somebody in chat just said 35 fish, no bag. PP Music said it. Uh, let's see, we're at 38 fish, two bags. So, <clears throat> can take a while sometimes. If we were going to keep going, by the way, at daytime, I think I would increase the depth back up to where we had it around. 0.8 or even one meter just felt like the bite rate was better and also my success at really seeing a fish strike compared to these depths was better all right i don't think we have any any last cafe orders and then we'll just sell fish and go check for one more bite. We do have this rough order, you know, but it's fine. Trophy eyed, not likely. If we stayed and did, if you know, if we were gonna be, keep just grinding away, we would probably get some of those orders actually, the small fish especially. Obviously on my main account, if I happen to get a really nice premium present, I'll make a video on it. But to me, finding out information about this event, how to do it, that's helpful. Watching it, very boring. <laughs> so probably won't record a bunch of episodes of me fishing here in my main account. I'll just let you know if anything exciting ends up happening. At least we were getting a nibble, but... Why is that back-to-back -back happy hours? That seems glitched out or something. All right, that's gonna do it. Let's see here. 16 silver plus the cafe order. Back up to 20 silver. Again, this is not a way to like make silver really quickly, but it is fun to get these presents and we're leveling up stuff, which is also very valuable. Oh my goodness. It means we are only one white bream away. Get a present for the road? We actually might have, believe it or not. Oh, and it's a striped one too. This might be one of the ones that can have premium in it, but I'm not sure. I feel like premium came out of the same one last year for everybody. Let me look at the list again. It might have been one of these two that premium came out of, but we caught our one red present. What are these under? Gifts has its own section. All right, let's unpack it, see what we got. 
Oh, tiger nuts. Actually, 80 pieces. This And this is something you can use to fish for carp. So, um, not a bad... Not a bad reward there, especially for where we're at. If you look at where we're at in leveling, we're at 33%. Well, when we hit 35%, we're going to be able to use a classic hair rig, which is what you need to use those tiger nuts. Now, are they going to be like great to use on stuff we're going for? Not necessarily, but it's something you could experiment with. So again, it's just kind of cool. You get these free gifts, stuff that you wouldn't normally get. Uh, and for example, if you did want to buy 80 of those tiger nuts, how much would that cost you? Probably a few silver, I would think. Oh my goodness. I forgot they were that expensive. That's worth 100 silver. We just caught something worth 100 silver in that present. So in the big scheme of things, that's why it's worth doing, right? It's fun. And you get like stuff that over the long haul will save you silver. It might not be some, sometimes it's something you can use immediately. Sometimes it's not. You might get little baits like night crawlers and stuff like that. I mean, it just depends, but there's all kinds of different gifts. A lot of it is like food and stuff. That's not super exciting, but some of it's more exciting. Um, and then of course you can get really lucky on the premium stuff, but that is very unlikely. Okay. Thanks for watching tight lines. Everybody let me know what, uh, your experience is like doing this event. It already seems to me like the bags are coming out at a pretty re reasonable rate. Um, and it may be the same rate it was last year after the patch, but three in this amount of time is pretty decent. Pretty decent. All right, tight lines. I'll see you next time.